What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video, we actually had some news that actually went live today, which was uh, relating to the new campaign event. So we had the summer campaign event uh, somewhere down here, the Let's Go Summer campaign, which actually ends on the 19th of August. And it's, a, and it's actually a pretty good event, to be quite honest, you know, bringing along the Reiju, the Konus events with uh, the double EXP and all of the Summer Girls events. And it's really nice to have them back. And that was a a really cool event but it is going to be concluding as we said and we have information relating to the next event that's going to be coming up now to be quite honest this next event is pretty disappointing uh, in the eyes of a person who has played the game heavily this is definitely this next event is definitely not for players who have played a lot of the game who have a lot of the free-to-play players already maxed out or the free-to-play units maxed out uh, but let's go ahead and get into it so I guess before we get into it uh, we can actually go ahead and have a look at the new post which was relating to the new Fortnite dungeon so finally we're getting a new Fortnite, and look you can see here that we only get a new Fortnite once a month now which is kind of understandable because I guess it's kind of hard to release uh, you know Fortnite's over and over again considering you know it's kind of difficult for them to organize skill books for characters considering how often now we get batches and also the fact that a lot of you know skill books have already come out in previous Fortnites there isn't really much reason to keep re-releasing skill books so it's understandable why they do it but it is a Cavendish and a Suleiman Fortnite dungeon I actually don't know what the Cavendish and Suleiman do but hopefully they're relatively useful because it does state here that the Cavendish and Suleiman are going to be trusty characters in the next treasure map in September, which the next treasure map in September should, by schedule, be treasure map Doflamingo. Uh, and that's actually a pretty good unit and also debut 6 plus version 1 Doflamingo as well. So it's going to be a pretty good event coming up. But in terms of skill books that are available here, Knight of the Sea, Jinbei, Sun Pirates, Captain, I believe that is V2 Jinbei, uh, the Dex V2 Jinbei. Uh, also, Legend Brook skill books are here as well, which is really, really cool. You've also got the Scarlet from Shiki's Batch. You've also got Aladdin from Jinbei's Batch, Praline, uh, Smoothie as well, which is pretty nice, and Pero Sparrow is really good too, and Story Mode Jesus Burgess. I don't actually remember what Story Mode Jesus Burgess does, but if you do have him, you can go ahead and skill him up from the Fortnite. So I guess moving on now, we can go ahead and start talking about the brand new campaign event which is the challenge rush so you can see the first event here on the 19th of august which is when this actually debuts when does it finish yeah the 25th of august this actually goes to so it's only a one week campaign so this is definitely classified as like a filler type campaign and i would expect something big to happen uh, after the 25th so I guess that's going to be the next point in time where we're really hoping for some big news uh, and I, I as I said in like many many videos as well Bartow and Cavendish is technically the next scheduled Sugo Fest exclusive character so I would expect that maybe at the end of this month in August that we actually might get them coming up um, that, and that could be, you know, the debut Sugo on the 25th or 26th of August. So, you know, it could be a thing. I don't know. I could just be completely misjudging this. But I think that Bato and Cavendish is likely to arrive about the end of the month. But here we go. Uh, as we said, the Neo Coliseums are coming back. So during the event, take on the challenge difficulty of past Neo Coliseums. Now, if you guys remember, the, the challenge difficulty was the zero stamina or the one stamina difficulty where it was pretty difficult, but you actually get, you know, some pretty good rewards. I think you get universal skill books. You get a hundred of each cotton candy. It was pretty good. Um, so all of them are coming back here, it looks like. So you've got uh, Diamante and X Drake, and you also have Kinemon and Killer. Uh, challenge difficulty will really test your skills. The enemies are tough, but sure to plan your crew ahead of time. Uh, and it says there's also Chopper Man missions as well. So if you clear them you get a reward from chopper man now i'm not really too sure what the rewards would be i would hope that they're really good because for a lot of people that have already done them you know there isn't really much incentive to do it again unless if you really 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 want cotton candy um so i guess if the chopper man missions are good i might go ahead and try and take it on once again but we will see we'll see so moving on now to the next one, number two from August 19th until the 26th for a limited time, new Chopper Man special requests with great rewards are available at the request for Chopper Man. In order to get, uh, in order to clear the challenge quest for the request, uh, be sure to have the plan of attack ready. Okay, so it's basically saying, you know, event number two is literally event number one extended. So, you know, two and one could have literally been combined, but it is what it is. Uh, number three from the 19th until the 26th, we have double pirate EXP on parts of Extra Island. So that's 
that's always really good to see, especially the fact that Global has access to Legend Jack nowadays. So it's actually going to be really good that you can go ahead and run your Double Jack teams against the Double Pirate EXP Islands, get a ton of EXP, but it says it's only going to be here on the Amand and Bobbin Fortnite, the Chin Jiao Family Fortnite, and the Don Quixote Family Children Fortnite. All of those are kind of annoying, so it is what it is, but I mean, at least it's there. And it would have been good if Double Pirate EXP was on the new Fortnite, because that would be so good because you know the new fortnite you always want to go ahead and farm it up get the characters get the skill books etc and that would be very very good if they had that but unfortunately not the case so moving on to event number four it's going to be from august 19th until the 23rd half stamina neo clash akainu so for those out there that have not finished akainu I suggest doing so. Neo Clash of Kainu, he isn't used very often, but it's nice to have him ready to go. Very good unit for int teams, gives you a full board of int orbs for your int characters. I don't know if it gets rid of block, I don't think it gets rid of block orbs, but he provides a 1.75 color affinity to your int characters as well. He's a good unit. Um, it says try clearing it for the Neo Akainu, you can get from this quest along with a uh, crew of int types, he's useful for a lot of situations, so be sure to power him up. Basically what I just said, okay, uh, definitely go ahead and max out this Akainu. Now, event number five is going to be the Evolver Forest from August 19th until the 24th of August. Obviously, one of these islands here is you basically clear it every single day, you get a rainbow gem, it's all good. And I actually love that they have this now with on top of the fact that we have the stackable Evolvers and boosters now. It means these islands are just a little bit better, right? Because you can continuously stack all these units on top of each other, meaning that it saves so much box space and you don't really need to worry about how many of these units you're grabbing. So I really love these specific islands now. Uh, moving on to number six, from August 24th until the 26th, we have the Celestial Dragon Islands, of course, where you get lots and lots of berries. So make sure to use the Foxy ship and any berry boosting captain that you have to get as many berries as possible from this particular event. And remember, the Celestial Dragons can drop and you can sell them for lots of berries as well. Now, moving on, you can have the double chance of super success from the 21st until the 24th of August. So, okay, fair enough. Nothing really too good there. And then from... That's it. Yo, what? Yo, whoa, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, number one, there's no double skill up chance, which is kind of odd. When does the Fortnite come out? It comes out literally during this, this campaign event. Okay, this is... Okay, this is so weird, dude. So there's no two-time skill up? It was, it was in, the, in, the, in the event that we just had, maybe? Hang on. Does this one carry through, maybe? Uh, August 15th to August 19th? No, legitimately. Oh my god, dude. That's trash. That is trash, bro. So we get no two-time skill up during this event, which does include the new Fortnite. So for an entire first week of the Fortnite, we don't get double skill up. Okay. And that's it. Eight events. We get a rainbow gem every single day, which is good. Oh my god. This is probably one of the worst campaign events that we've had in a long time, dude. And as I was saying, you know, if, if for people that have already cleared these near Colosseum challenge difficulty missions, you can do them again, which is good. You can get a lot of rewards from them, but you know, for what you get out of it and for the amount of effort that it takes to clear them, I don't know if people really want to go ahead through that again, especially because there are four different ones. It is what it is. It really depends on what the rewards are from the Chopper Man missions. That's going to be the real incentivizing thing here. So yeah, the campaign event, man, it's really disappointing, but I guess it means that the campaign event after this is likely going to be really good. So I guess that's really what I'm looking forward to, you know. Uh, you know, it'd be cool if we got another global first raid or a global first coliseum or something. That would have been nice to like chuck in here because this is a pretty average event. That would have been really cool if they did that just to kind of, you know, spice up the event a little bit more. But it is what it is. Uh, we have the Ambush as well. So Ambush Linlin -Lin is coming back. So for those of you out there that did not max Charlotte Linlin -Lin from the Ambush quest, it is going to be available once again from the 18th until the 20th of August. A 100% chance to encounter from Clash, Sengoku, and Garp. Okay, well... <laughs> um... Okay, well, if you didn't max Charlotte Linlin -Lin the first time, it's going to be even more difficult this time around the fact that you have to take on the dual Sengoku and Garp raid boss prior to taking on Charlotte Linlin. -Lin. <laughs> it's going to be pretty difficult, I think. Um, so, I mean, 
that's that's kind of tough i, I kind of wish that you know whenever charlotte Lindley comes back that they just introduce the fortnite again and just have it like maybe you know 20 percent chance to encounter or less even i'd be okay with that because of how difficult charlotte Lindley is but the fact that they put her on top of the fact that you have to take on sengoku and garp as well it's going to be quite challenging but I would suggest if you guys have Charlotte Lin Lin, you haven't maxed her out, either to use USBs, uh, like uh, Almighty Manuals to max her out, uh, or to try and farm her up, because she is very good for free-to-play teams, 110%. She is so worth it. And then, obviously, all the announcement here for Neo Akainu, Neo Diamante, Neo Drake, Neo Killer, and Neo Kinemon. But other than that, that's the news that we have today. Uh, unfortunately, nothing really too crazy, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video today of breaking down all the news here for the new campaign event. Uh, hopefully, something else gets revealed over the next couple of days because... So far, this doesn't really look too hot. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.